when we design shoes, we won't stop at something just being a great performing shoe. It's a move of confidence. If we're talking about Mike, his movement and his posing, it was like poetry in motion. We need both the performance. We got to bring the confidence of um, what we do with style and how we're putting our own spin on it. So we knew our products need kind of both sides of that. That's why motion, any motion helps us kind of make sure we're tapping into both of those elements. So when we talk about motion, it really comes down to true athlete insights. We watch tons of footage and really use specific motions that those athletes have either identified or that we've noticed to create solutions for those problems, right? When it comes to emotion, that is a much deeper process. And really what that means is identifying what is the soul or what is the narrative that we want to tell around it. We really consist of one very focused product construct. At the very top, we have the game shoe. And what the game shoe represents is pinnacle of flight and speed. It is the ultimate. It is the best of the best within the industry. Flight is a kind of focus on jumping. We have Zion and Jason on that side. On the speed side, we have Luca, and that's kind of the ground game. So everything you do on the court. The, the challenge is, you know, they give me something which is like crazy. I look at it and I'm like, yo, that's not gonna work. Then, you know, I work with YJ in the engineering and we, we figure out how to do it. And we collaborate as a team to solve the problem to the other. You can only learn so much from a machine. You need to actually take the shoes and put them on feet with athletes to have them tell us how they're really performing. This year it was really exciting to debut um, the game shoe on a female athlete, specifically Kiki, um, who's been a great partner for us. It's been really a lot of fun to work with our female-led roster, and they've helped us for the last four to five years really craft our performance product and our women's strategy. The Air Jordan has to tell a story, it has to look great, and it has to perform great. All three, end of story. And the insight behind the Air Jordan 38 was MJ's iconic turnaround jump shot. And so the team broke down the pivot, the rotation, the landing behind this jump shot and infused that into the shoe. He had told us like he's interested in advancing the game both through his footwear, even through his style of play. He wanted to inspire the next generation and actually you know, be part of that. You know, we start off kind of a tailored script about, you know, uh, questions such as if you were an animal, what type of animal would you be? Jason's answer was, if I could be any animal, I would be a dolphin, uh, which is really interesting. So everybody kind of like, hmm, a dolphin, why a dolphin? He was like, well, everybody likes dolphins. And it's just one of those little nuggets of like, how can we bring that fluid, slippery vibe um, that we see in his game, as well as that little nugget of him telling us that insight? The Zion 3, Many people believe he was an overnight sensation, uh, but he reminded us that, hey, I didn't get this overnight, and he, he, he framed it up as like, I had to get it out of the mud. The mud splatter that goes over the shoe, we didn't want it to just be a narrative or an aesthetic. We use this um, haptic print technology, so the print just adds an incredible amount of strength to this base knit material. And so we were trying to figure out how to best communicate this design to Zion as he's here on campus. He wants to see, you know, the development of his shoe. We don't have final samples. And so one of the things that we did was deconstructed the shoe in real life and utilized, you know, parts and, and pieces of the shoe. But we were also able to bring in this element of technology, which is augmented reality. He was able to click on it, rotate around the shoe, see different colorways, see it exploded. It's been a blast working with Luca. I think what he has done for us is he's presented some really, really unique problems to solve. On the one, we were really focused just specifically on his step back jumper. As we created the two, we focused on kind of adding a few new ingredients to that solution. So adding Kushlon foam allows for a smoother transition as he steps back and gathers his balance. We're known to use more of a crafted uh, approach when it comes to Jordan. 
I think the really unique thing about Jordan Brand is that the entire team from design to color, materials, development, testing, we're all so intertwined and linked throughout the entire process that we are able to effortlessly work in a collaborative nature to where good ideas can come from anywhere. We all respect each other. Or we all trust each other in our area of expertise. We're really trying to figure out, you know, how, we, how, how can we make the best shoe possible? There's no aspect of the game that we're not touching in some way, right? Like across the silo structures, we have this pinnacle game shoe. We have these speed shoes, these flesh shoes. Like any kid or player that wants to get involved in the game, no matter what their style or play or body type, they can use our products. I think that's that's pretty exciting. Yeah, I think it all goes back to how we all felt when we, you know, got this chance to see MJ play, and it was more than just a shoe. And I think that these, you know, new signature athletes help us take product and innovation to a new place. But what that does is really inspire dreams and inspires kids, um, boys and girls, um, all shapes and sizes to you know, chase after their ambitions and their dreams and to, to, to think with no limits like these athletes do, but then also like, like MJ did, um, which started this whole thing.